we launched together with the president of the African Development Bank, the Commissioner for Energy for the African Union and the Commissioner for Development of the European Union, the new Sustainable Energy Investment Platform. It was originally launched here in the last event and I was asked to help coordinate a team of 50 experts to come up with actionable recommendations how we can enhance the partnership between Europe and Africa in the area of private sector investments in the energy sector. And we just launched the report. We gave um, um, about 50 recommendations in 11 categories with 80 action points. So we were very pleased to see these leaders, President of the African Development Bank, African Union, and the European Commission commit themselves to the implementation of that plan. And we hope that will bring in the necessary financing. As, as you know, the President of the Bank has already framed the issue. 600 million Africans without power now, an additional billion will be added by 2050. So to, to generate power and transmit it and have, leave no one behind, which is his desire, and also provide clean cooking solutions to, um, to Africans, requires billions of dollars. The rough estimate from the ADB is $63 billion a year to do that. That's why we were put together and we're very pleased. I feel relaxed now that we launched the report and the leaders have blessed it. Now, of course, is how do we make things really happen? How do we get the deal flows? How do we get the financing coming in? Well, this platform is crucial. First of all, you put it in the context. This is the biggest investment forum in Africa. It's bringing in investors from 100 and almost 120 countries. This is the right place to bring these ideas that in fact we need more partnerships. And the good news is in our session, we had the ADB, we had the European Investment Bank, EBRD, they all made statements here, all the financing groups. But more importantly, we need political action. And in the energy sector in Africa, unless we have determined leaders that will do what is necessary to make our utilities profitable, in other words, fight the corruption there, restructure those industries, have the right regulations in place to encourage long-term investment, will not have the energy revolution. It is urgent, as the president of the bank has said, as the African Union said, we cannot achieve most of what is in vision 2063 of the African Union without reliable, affordable energy.